Hello, welcome to Library Connection. I'm Mandy Cantrell, Youth Services Director at the Bibi Comer Memorial Library here in Sylacauga. I'm glad you've joined us today. Before I get started, I want to thank TV47, Chris, everyone here who helps us put on our program. We, we appreciate the time. Joining me today is Patty Self. She is the Assistant Clinical Director of Children and at Adolescent Services at Al Alta Point Health. Is that correct? Yeah. Yes, That's a mouthful, right? <laughs> that is a mouthful. Well, great. Um, tell us who who you are. Are you from this area or? Just... Well, I am from this area. Yes. Um, I graduated from Winterboro High School in okay. 1987, Good so job. I was raised in Talladega County. Yeah. I currently live in Equality, which is in Coosa County with my husband. Right. I'm an empty nester, so I, um, it's just me and him now. Right. So am I, I know. <laughs> well, good. Well, thank you for joining us. Now, it says you're the Assistant Clinical Director. What, what, is your, what does that position entail with Alta Point? Well, I am the Assistant Clinical Director for Children's Services and Alta Point Health. Um, we mm -hmm. provide services to individuals with mental illness, okay. substance use disorder, and intellectual disabilities, as well as primary care. And my job day to day is just to manage um, my staff and my team. I have school based therapists that go out into the schools and work in the schools with the school systems. Um, I manage the day to day operations at the center, you know, talk to parents, things like that. Right, right. That's a busy job. <laughs> it is a very busy job. Alta Point covers four counties in the North Region, um, okay. Randolph, Clay, Coosa, and Taldiga County. Okay, okay. We met at a board meeting uh, for a group that we're both involved with, which works with, with children also. So, And when I heard you tell about some things y'all have coming up, I thought, well, this is something we need to let our listeners know. The services you guys provide, uh, you do provide for children and adults, but you mainly work with the children and, and teens. And yes, ma'am. We, um, <clears throat> we have services for children and adolescents. We have therapy services, care okay. coordination. We have intensive day treatment services, which leads me to talk about um, a program that we have up and coming. It's our summer day treatment program. Oh, okay, good. And um, the theme for the summer day treatment program this year is dive into summer day treatment. Okay. Um, it starts May 29th mm -hmm. and ends on August the 2nd. Uh, the children come from 10 to 3. And it's, it's going to be all about having fun. We take them swimming. We do food crafts, arts and crafts. We, um, we do a lot of fun activities Here with the kids. There's the flyer, yes. Yes, yes. absolutely. I have programs in Silicaga <clears throat> and Talladega. Okay. And it's open to all kids first through the eighth grade. And also the kids get the services they need through that program, like individual therapy, group therapy with a therapist. So oh. I have a day treatment team who works with the kids. And one of the most important things that we do um, is we mentor those things that we want to see in kids, you know, That's like, great. and we, you know, observe them, and if they are having an issue with anger, then we want to mentor their reaction to that right. anger, you know. Right. That's the best way to learn, to watch someone. I it think. really is, and just to help guide them, and before you know it, you know, they are learning to manage their anger or whatever, you know, whatever yes. issue they're struggling with. I see field trips, swimming, arts and crafts, water games, food, food crafts, that sounds fun to me. Fourth we, of July cookout? Yes, we do. We do take um, field trips. One of the field trips that we will be taking in June is to the Alabama Nature Center in Millbrook. Oh, wow. And that's one of my favorite things to do is getting kids in nature. And that's also a very valuable coping skill. You know, okay, take yeah. care of yourself, getting out in nature. And I don't think kids get outside as much as they should. No. You know, when I was growing up, we were outside all the right. time. Um, we were not inside playing video games or watching TV. Right. So uh, we go to the Alabama Nature Center in Millbrook, and we usually do some kind of activity they have, whether it's uh, build a bird nest or. But one of the oh. favorite things that they like to do is we oh. take a creek hike. So they really enjoy that. Oh, a creek hike. That yes, they have so much fun. <clears throat> that sounds fun because, like you said, a lot of children don't 
get out, or if you live in the middle of town, you don't have ac ac access to creeks and woods and things like that. <laughs> I know, they have so much fun. It's not very long and it's very safe, mm -hmm. yeah. but, the, but they get wet and, um, and they just enjoy playing in the water. So that's one of the things that, um, that we usually do yeah. in June. And then in July, we usually take them to a trampoline park or something oh, like that. Fun. They really enjoy going to the trampoline park. Yes, yes, they do. I know they do. Now, this is for what age children, did you say? It's for first grade through eighth grade. First through eighth grade, okay. Mm -hmm. And I know this is not just for anyone. It's do you have to, can they call you for more in, information about if their child would qualify? Absolutely, yeah. they can call me anytime they want to. My office number is 256-487-0182. And they can call me anytime they have questions about any of our services that okay. we offer at Alta Point. But typically children who are admitted into the day treatment program are struggling in some area of functioning in their life, whether it's school or home. And this could be anxiety or depression or ADHD. Mm -hmm. So there's usually some kind of reason for us to be able to work with them on coping skills and things like that. That's great. I'm sure we all need, we all do need some of that. I mean, you know, need that. That's wonderful. Um, now, before we came on TV, we were talking about what's the difference in mental health and mental illness? You know, I'm glad you asked me that question. Um, I think a lot of times when people hear the word mental health, mm -hmm. um, they automatically go to mental illness. And mental health is something that we do every day, mm -hmm. whether we're aware of it or not. Mm -hmm. You know, like if we're reading a book or talking to a friend or engaging in some kind of physical activity, that is taking care of our mental health. And everybody has um, mental health. And it's very important that we do things every day to take care of our mental health. <clears throat> now, when an individual experiences some kind of a stressor, maybe they have something traumatic that happens to them, or maybe they're using drugs or alcohol, this can lead to mental illness. Sure. So an individual with mental illness is struggling to function, you know, at home, school, work, in the community. And there can be many reasons for this, but that's some of the main reasons and the differences between mental health and mental illness. Okay. It doesn't have to be drugs or trauma. It can just be everyday life too. I mean, it can be. I mean, life, it things. can be going through a divorce or anything like that can trigger, you know, depression, um, anxiety, and then we can have more serious mental illnesses right. um, like schizophrenia or bipolar disorder. Mm -hmm. Um, but that's all the reason that we connect people to resources so that they can come in and, and get an intake assessment and try to determine what level of care they need at that point. That's great. I tell you, we're going to pause for a commercial break and we'll be right back and talk some more with Patty. Great. What am I going to do now? Time to visit Brown's Auto Collision. No problem at all. We've contacted your insurance company and we can get you back into regional condition right away. And I just want to remind you that all of our work is covered by a lifetime warranty. We're done. Wow, that was easy and looks great. Brown's Auto Collision. Where, Where quality is no accident. accident. A funeral service represents a family's final farewell to their loved ones. Knowing this, we go beyond what is expected to ensure the ceremony is beautiful and memorable, a truly fitting tribute to that special life. We invite you to visit us to meet our staff and tour our renovated facility complete with a new dining area and catering services. We've been serving the people of this area for over 40 years and we think that you'll be pleased to find that making lasting impressions remains our first priority. Curtis and Son Funeral Home, Sylacauga, Childersburg. 
Welcome back to Library of Connection. I'm talking with Patty Self, who's the Assistant Clinical Director of Children and Adolescent Services at All Alta Point. Alta Point? Alta Point. I always want to say Alta Point, but Alta Point Health. <laughs> um, we were talking about the difference in mental health and mental illness. Um, can you be cured from mental illness? Not, I mean, probably not, because you can't be cured from other things. Well, there is no cure for mental illness, but right. with the right treatment and sometimes medication, recovery is possible and right. allows people to get back to work and function like they should sure. in their everyday day to life and, uh, well, their daily life and socialize with people like they should. So there's not exactly a cure, but people right. can, can recover yes. and get, you know, with the help they need. Sure. I mean, that's just like di being di diabetic. You don't, you're not cured from that, but you learn to make it work. That's I right. Think. You learn how to eat healthy and exercise, yes. which is just as important with mental health too. Really? Okay. Well, talk some more about uh, self-care, maybe how to pr prevent mental problems. Well, um, like I said earlier, people can take care of their mental health by mm -hmm. doing things every day to take care of their <clears> mental health. <throat> One of the most important things they can do is exercise. You know, okay. just a 10 minute walk three times a week can boost your mood significantly. Okay. Another way is to eat healthy and stay hydrated. Mm -hmm. Having a good, good sleep is so important mm -hmm. for children especially, but even as we grow into adulthood, you know what we feel like if we don't get a good night's right. sleep. Mm -hmm. Trying relaxing activities such as meditation or breathing exercises, listening mm -hmm. to music or reading, spending time in nature, um, taking a part of low stress activities. One way to manage stress, which is an important way to maintain good mental health, is to set goals so you don't get overly stressed. Okay. Pace yourself and set goals. Another way is to practice gratitude, having that positive outlook. Okay. And it, it can be just saying to yourself every day, you know, today is going to be a good day. And then finally, staying connected with your family and friends. Mm -hmm. It's so important that we have that positive, one-on-one, face-to-face -on -one, -face interaction. Yeah. I'm not talking about text messaging. I'm talking <laughs> right. about face-to-face -face face interaction -face. with your family and friends and people that support you. How important is it for your family and friends to provide that support? Well, your family and your friends um, providing that support, especially in, when somebody is struggling with right. a mental illness or substance use disorder, uh -huh. can make the difference between whether that person recovers or not. Okay. So that support can be the one thing that helps that person recover from mental wow. illness or substance use. Yeah or help to maintain recovery. Right, right. Mm -hmm. I guess you don't just recover and go, you have to, it's a, it's a daily thing. It's a journey. <clears throat> recovery is a journey. It really never ends. It's continuing to do the things you need to do every day. And that's where you guys come in. That's where help, we I come mean, in. To mm -hmm. help, uh, help that. Individual therapy, family therapy. Um, there are so many benefits to therapy. Um, it can help you become self-aware. Mm -hmm help you learn coping strategies that helps improve mm -hmm. your mental health. Okay. Um, it can help you have a more positive outlook on life. It can help you to learn things about yourself. And therapy is that time for you to express your thoughts and feelings mm -hmm. with one person that you feel safe and connected to. Right. That's wonderful. I think we probably all uh, would benefit from a therapist or someone to share our thoughts with. I have someone. no doubt therapy is very beneficial. That's wonderful. And y'all, you provide that. We at, do. At we Alta provide, Point. we have therapy services for children, adolescents, and okay. adults at Alta Point okay. Health. And I know we said there, there may be a charge for what you're doing, but y'all accept insurance and uh, We accept like most commercial insurance okay. as well as all kids, PHIP, Medicaid and Medicare. Mm -hmm. And for those individuals who have what we call a serious mental illness, um, based upon their symptoms, they can um, receive financial assistance. Okay, good, good. What if I, if I need your services or I know someone who needs, who I think may benefit from the things you do? What's my first step? Well, mm -hmm. we have the access to care number. Okay. And that number is 
1-800-335-2211, and then there's an 800 number, 1-888-335-3044. Um, but I also want to let you know that Alta Point has an open door policy. You can walk into the outpatient center anytime if you have a need or need to talk to somebody. Mm -hmm. You can come into our center at any time and talk to somebody. That's great. Now, are y'all located here in Sylacauga? We are located on, in Sylacauga on the Old Birmingham Highway. Yes. Um, our office hours oh. are Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. We do have an after hours crisis line, which you can reach by calling that number I just gave you. There is also the 988 crisis number, and okay. that's a very important number. It's like 911, mm -hmm. only 988 is for mental health emergencies. And oh. that's a number that you can call and text, and somebody there at the other end, a professional, can connect you with the help you need. Oh, that's wonderful. 988. 988. Mm -hmm. 988. I mm -hmm. didn't realize that. Uh. That's wonderful. Um, now, I know we said someone cannot be cured, but there's it's an ongoing process. And do y'all walk people through all of the process? Yes, we do. When somebody done. comes in, mm -hmm. um, we usually do what's called an intake, and that's where we get a good history. Right. And, and we kind of determine what's going on with them and what level of care they need. Okay. So they see a therapist, and the therapist kind of determines what happens next. You know, okay. do they need care coordination? Do they need to see the psychiatric nurse practitioner for medication mm -hmm. management? So we have a lot of services that we can offer to children, adolescents, and adults. All right. Is, do these type of issues uh, affect a lot of people? Or, I mean, is it pretty prevalent in our society? At varying degrees, I know. One in five um, U.S. adults experience a mental illness in a given oh, year. Okay. And one in six U.S. youth, ages six to 17, experience a mental health disorder every year. So it's very common. Um, mental illness is very common. Mm -hmm. um, but the good thing about it is there is hope. Um, there is recovery as possible. Right. So help is out there. All you have to do is reach out and call the number and AltaPoint is there to help you. Wow, that's wonderful. Um, I'll tell you, we're going to pause for another commercial break, and we'll be right back and talk some more with Patty. Coosa Valley Medical Center, one of the top ten hospitals in Alabama, is also Sylacauga's largest employer. Services from the emergency room to surgery to cancer treatment to post-stroke care. You won't believe what's right in your backyard. It's Coosa Valley Medical Center in Sylacauga. So, if you're sick, in Alabama, choose one of the top 10 hospitals in Alabama. That is Coosa Valley Medical Center. There's a lot in life to smile about. Are loose dentures or missing teeth keeping you from enjoying the things you love? Don't miss out on enjoying life's precious moments. You can be you again with affordable mini dental implants. You can smile again, laugh out loud, and have your self-confidence back. Let us help you make it memorable. I'm Dr. Rick Redmond. Call me today for a free consultation and give me the opportunity to change your life. The all new Marble City Pharmacy in Sylacauga is your destination for the highest quality health care. Our remodeled and expanded pharmacy gives us the space to serve more patients. We've added a drive through window for those times when you don't feel like getting out of your vehicle. And we still offer delivery within city limits. We feature a full line of over-the-counter medications and supplements. And don't forget our stunning new gift department. New building, same great people. Marble City Pharmacy, here for life. Welcome back to Library Connection. I'm talking with Patty Self, who works at All Alta Point, Assistant Clinical Director of Children and a Adolescent Services. We were talking about mental health, mental illness, and I know one of the things you wanted to especially talk about is how can we help someone who's having problems or, or we think they may benefit from your services? Well, I think um, it's hard for individuals, especially if they see somebody they know, a family member mm -hmm. who is struggling perhaps with a mental illness or right. substance use disorder. So I think it's very important that when you're first reaching out to them to talk to them, that you find a quiet place, you identify a time and place to sit them down, okay. um, and then you just <clears throat> express your concerns to them. You know, you say, 
I'm worried about you. Um, I see that you're going through something. Mm -hmm. I care about you and I'm here to listen. Um, if you don't want to talk to me, would you be willing to talk to somebody else? Or how can I help support you? Once you express your concern to them and acknowledge their feelings and really listen to them, you want to offer to help connect them to resources and remind them that that help is available. Um, and I think that it's remembering that this is not an, a quick process, it's not an overnight process, that recovery is a journey <clears throat> and you need to have patience and, and continue to follow up with them and check on them frequently. Just be a good friend. Just be a good friend. I mean, and there's nothing wrong with sitting someone down and saying, hey, you know, I see something's going on with you. How can right. I help you? Right. Mm -hmm. I know um, maybe years ago, if you talked about mental health, it was kind of a taboo subject, but it's not anymore. It really and I'm isn't. So glad. And I, I think that that's because <clears throat> there's a lot more education out there about right. what mental health is and what it isn't. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot more resources available in the community, even with just school-based therapy. You know, um, we have school-based therapists that are out in the community working in the school system, mm -hmm. and that gives our children and adolescents access to care much earlier than they yes. used to get it. Yes, because mm -hmm. it is hard for parents if you're working all day to try to get your child where, the, I mean, I know they need to go, but you also have to work. So that's right, that's and that's one of the benefits. Best. I mean, that child doesn't have to check out mm -hmm. to go to their appointment with a therapist. They can be seen right there. And, you know, it reduces absenteeism and the benefits of that. You know, the child does better wow. with their academics yes. and things like yeah. that. So the benefits are, are out there. People just have to take advantage of the service. Mm -hmm. That's great. Uh, now, I know sometimes you hear somebody might say, oh, just g g give me a pill for something. I mean, uh, that's kind of what we all want. Just I just want to take a pill so I don't have to stop my normal life. I want to go back. Sometimes that's needed, but sometimes it's not. Is that correct? Absolutely. I mean, um, sometimes people do need medication. But we believe in a combination of medication and psychotherapy. Right. And right. usually we try therapy first before, you know, right. we schedule somebody to see the psychiatric nurse practitioner. Mm -hmm. And that, that is not always the case. Sure. But we do believe in therapy and the benefits of psychotherapy. Sometimes the drugs and things are needed and they help a lot of people. Absolutely. Sure. Yes. Um, there's a lot of people who do need medication. Mm -hmm. It's just the finding out what that person needs. Is right, what I think. identifying what they need, exactly. Wow, that's wonderful. Well, I do want to talk about May 4th, you have Stepping Up for Mental Health coming up. Exactly, and I'm so excited about that. Gosh. We have our Stepping Up Together for Mental Health Awareness event, which will be Saturday, May the 4th from 10 to 2. I think we had a flyer on that, maybe if, if you can find that, but go yes. ahead, I'm sorry, May 4th. Yeah. And it will be located at Central Park, which is across from Bluebell, and it's, it's about the Stepping Up Initiative, which is about connecting individuals who are put in jail okay. um, with resources, you know, an individual <laughs> who is um, struggling with serious mental illness, sometimes, you know, they end up in jail. Right. And the Stepping Up Initiative is about connecting those individuals with the help they need and reducing those recidivism rates. Okay. Um, but it's more, the Stepping Up event is more than just that. It's about making the community aware of resources that are available to them in the community. We're gonna have all kinds of resources available there. Um, SAFE will be there, DHR, okay. we'll have inflatables for the kids, food vendors, we'll have a DJ. Um, the, um, we're going to have a performance by the the dance company. The dance I company. think I saw that. They're yeah. going to do, uh, and I'm sorry. <laughs> Southern Dance and Performing The Southern Art. Dance, yes, right. Yeah. Um, they're going to do a performance for us called We're On Our Way. So I'm very oh, excited yes. about that. So it ought to be a really fun day. We want people to come on out and we want them to stay. We're going to be doing giveaways. We'll be giving away prizes. Um, it, yeah. As people go around and visit and talk to the okay. resources in the community, they, they can collect tickets and then every 15 minutes or so, we'll give a prize away. So oh, we're very wonderful. excited about that. Well, we yeah. want to make it a, an event that's for everybody in the community. And that is May 4th, Stepping Up for Mental Health. Stepping that's Up great. Together for Mental Health stepping Awareness. Up together. Yes. Good yes. way to find this out. Is, there it is. Yes, yeah, Stepping Up. Yes, this yeah. is the fourth year we've had it, and okay. we're very excited about it. 
Well, that sounds like a lot of fun for a fa family outing. It won't be too hot in May. That's perfect. Um, <clears throat> and we will talk again about your um, summer program. That's right, stepping up for mental health. Oh, okay, yes, where you have the field trips, the swimming, arts and crafts, and all that fun stuff. Our summer day <coughs> treatment program begins on May 29th, and it'll run through August the 2nd. And it's available to <coughs> children in the first grade through the eighth grade. Um, we do provide some transportation and assist parents with transportation to that. We provide a lunch and a snack. And, and through the course of that program, kids get therapy and other services that they need, but we're gonna be having a lot of fun too. We're gonna be good, taking good. some field trips, probably to Bluebell as well and oh, things like yes. that. So it's a very good program. <laughs> We also have the after school program, which is we're what not. we're doing right now. Okay. That program runs from two to five. And um, we work with the school systems to identify kids who meet the criteria for that program. So that is wonderful that it's a, that's like a daily um, that is, it's every day. assistance there. It is. Support. It's Monday through Friday from two to five. Wow. So it's a very good program. And the kids who come into that program, you know, it's very intensive. Mm -hmm. They're learning new coping skills so they can better function in school and in their home and environment. Life. In life. And in life. That's <laughs> yes, right. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure you, you provide some support for families. I mean, just even talk, talking with parents. Yes, how to do we, things at home. Absolutely. We like to have family sessions with our parents. Um, we always want parents to be involved in their right. child's treatment. We <laughs> encourage that um, because, you know, when the child is struggling to function, it's not just the child. It's probably the family is struggling right. to function, too. So right. when you're working with a child, essentially, you're working with that family. Yes. Well, it's great to keep the family all together involved in, in Trying to help each other. Absolutely. That's great. Well, we have less than a minute left. I just appreciate you coming. Well, thank uh, you so much. Um, if I could, yes. we have a website. It's www.altapoint.org. Um, you can log on to that and read all about what AltaPoint does. We also have a careers link if you're looking for a job oh. with AltaPoint. You just go to the top and click careers and you can filter down to our area. We're always yeah. looking for staff. Um, uh -huh. You know, it, it's a fact as, as most companies are right now, you know, it, we're struggling to stay staffed. Right. But right. if you're looking for a job, just log on to that website and see if you have something that you might be able to do with us and love to mm -hmm. help people, which is what y'all are all about. Absolutely, it's, that website provides a lot of information about all to point and what all we do. It does, I looked at it too. <laughs> well, <laughs> well listen, we're out of time, but thank you Patty for joining me and thank you all for joining us on Library Connection. Thank you. Thank you.